I'm gonna go over five things that are gonna stop you from going to the next level. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a little bonus. Stay tuned. All right, guys, check this out. So this is gonna be five things that most salespeople undervalue. Now, when I say this to you, imagine this. Let's say you had $10,000 to invest and you went in to invest this 10,000, 100,000, a million, whatever, a thousand for some of you, it doesn't matter. But you had this money you wanna invest and you walked in to go deal with someone that you wanted to be a guide on how to invest your money. So you walk into a building and there's a guy that's got a building that says investor. When you go to sit down to invest your hard earned money, this person doesn't look like he should play the part as actually helping you investing your money. What would you do? You haven't even had the opportunity to hear him out yet. But because he doesn't look like he plays the role, you automatically, remember people make decisions two ways, one logically and second with their gut. They automatically, and you would automatically with your gut say, mm, maybe I'm not in the right place. Look, how do your customers think when they see you? Now I'm not telling you that you have to go dress like you're on Wall Street. That's not what I'm saying. But I think that right now you can look in the mirror and there's five things I bet that you're undervaluing right now. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you something special. I'm gonna hook you up with something. But I want you to stay with me and I want you to pay attention. If you really be, wanna become one of the top one percenters, one of the best high achievers, you wanna be an expert and a guide to your customers before you even get the chance to say hello. They get to take a two second judgment over you. I want that judgment to be great. This is gonna be the first one. Undervalued by salespeople. Number one, looking like a pro. Looking like a pro. This is probably one of the biggest deals before you can ever say hello, before you get to act like a pro, they get to see who you are. Do customers judge you when they pull up to the lot? Absolutely, just like you're judging them when they pull up. Can they buy? How's their credit? Are they upside down in their car? Man, that looks like a car's like six months old that just came out. I wonder if they're trying to trade it in. You got things going through your head. They've got things going through their head. Is this guy like my last sales guy? You know what I'm saying? Look, this guy looks like he mowed the yard. First thing I do is I see your shoes. Think about it. You have got to prepare yourself to be battle tested on the front line. So looking like a pro, we're gonna talk about that before we get into acting like a pro. I'm gonna tell you one of the first things people see is a starch press clothes. Guys, look, man, when I sold cars, I was always in a suit, all the time. It was very rare that I wore a polo. I always dressed sharp. Guys, I grew up in Oklahoma. It was 100 degree weather all the time. I was always pressed nice and sharp, nice and clean. So I was sitting there the other day and I'm helping a dealer hire some people. Now look, when you show up on your first day of work, most people are dressed their nicest they've ever been dressed. And then by three weeks, what happens is they start to fall apart and revert back to like the laziest dress code you've ever seen. Day one, people want to show up either at the interview or the job to impress. So I'm sitting here and I'm with the GM and an owner and we're hiring some phenomenal people, but some of the people showed up. And I'm not saying that you should have like the highest budget in the world, but go through your closet. Whatever you have, you don't have to have Armani or Gucci. Man, you could have a dollar shirt from the dollar store. Seriously, can you iron it? Can we get a press on it? Can we get an iron? Can you iron your slacks? Look, if you got cargo shorts and I get it, it's the only thing you got, can you iron them for me? Can you make them look sharp? Can you clean your shoes? Can you make them look sharp? Look. There's some things that you have to do. If you want to really do well and go get in life with what you want, you have to play the part. Look, there's a term that says fake it till you make it. I know you've heard it before. And I'm not telling you to go out and have the Rolex on your hand, fake Rolex to some people, trying to show that you made it. I'm asking you this, can you press your clothes, please? From this point forward, if you haven't focused on that, I'm gonna tell you this, you're missing out on probably half of your income not pressing and starching your clothes and looking sharp. Number two, we're gonna talk about shining your shoes. Look, when I, the era I grew up in, and I'm 41 years old at the time we're making this video, was this. 
Every week, we had a shoe shine guy come through, and he'd come through the deal. He'd go, shoe shine, you know what I'm saying? And dude, everybody knew that that guy, if you didn't take care of your shoes, boy, he'd rag you out, man. I mean, he had like the craziest rag. Dude, he, he had jokes for years on salesmen that didn't take care of them shoes. He'd be like, boy, you must be the last one on the board. Look at them shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? You dragging your feet. Pick your feet up, man. You were supposed to be a hustler. Man, I'm telling you right now, I learned from that shoe shine guy that anytime I'm talking to a businessman, I always look right in his shoes, okay? Because if he don't have time to take care of his shoes, he don't have time to take care of me. I'm just telling you. I look at you before I look at how you're gonna take care of me. And if your shoes are nice and shined and your clothes are nice and pressed and you look clean, then there's a pretty good chance that you'll take care of me because I can see how you take care of yourself. Let's go on to the third one, all right? Smell good, listen, hey, I'm allergic to smoke. I hate it, I think it's disgusting. Hey, not saying that you shouldn't smoke if that's what you wanna do, it's your body. But let's talk about if you smoke all the time. What do you smell like? You smell like smoke. You know, I know this, it's obviously, I have an automotive channel, that most of the time when a customer comes into the lot, if you open the door on a car and it smells like smoke, what do they do? Shut the car door and go on to the next car. What do you think they do with you when you smell like smoke? By the way, when you smoke, right, your breath stinks, Okay? I'm just telling, this is the truth. Hey, if you're like, hey man, screw this guy. He don't like me because I smoke. I'm just telling you the truth. You gotta look at yourself right now. Do you stink? Do you smell like smoke, right? You gotta smell clean. If people are gonna spend an hour or two with you, do you wanna spend an hour or two with somebody that smells bad? No, man. Make sure that if you smoke, don't smoke while you're at work. Okay, I know that some of you guys got some of those Axe body sprays and you think you're hitting yourself up and you're gonna smell good. Dude, you don't, man. You smell like smoke with Axe body spray on you and you stink. I'm just being honest with you. And look, if I've offended you, I'm sorry. I want you to make more money. Look, I love you. I love every single one of you. So I'll be the one that tells you the truth. Okay, sharpen shoes. Dress nice and press clean. Smell good. Let's go to the fourth one. Clean haircut. Guys, can we get a haircut? Can you look sharp? Can we get a haircut, please? This is probably one of the biggest deals out there. I see a lot of people that run way past due on a haircut. Most people need a haircut every single week. Me, I got short hair. I know it sounds crazy, but I get my haircut every single week. I like to keep it short, I keep it tight. Kind of like military style. Here's my goal with you. Well, however your hair is, fix it. Take care of yourself. Make sure that you take care of your hair, put products in it, make it look smooth. Guys, be a person that when somebody walks up to you, like I said, it looks like you're playing at your best version. If you're playing at your best version, then they're thinking that you're gonna give them your best. Does that make sense? Okay, and I hope that this video is helping you as you're looking in the mirror and identifying the person that you want to be. All right, let's go over here. Number five, clean shave. This is a big one, okay? And you say, man, Andy, Look at that. You shot a video on clean shave and you're not clean shaved. Well, here's the deal. I've been training all week long, every day, nice and slick. Every day I've been in a suit, every single day. I'm here in my conference room, which is my home. I'll be at work and when I fly out and do training, we do master closer seminars here, I'm always nice and tight and shaved. And we are in the beard era. So here's my deal. If you have facial hair, keep it looking tight. Don't have scragglies running all over. Man, if you're gonna have a nice man beard, clean that stuff up, man. Make it look great. If you have a nice groomed beard, man, that's a great thing. That looks awesome. But whenever somebody has a beard that's going out of control and they look like they just woke out of bed and the stuff's going all over the place, it ain't cute. There's nothing cool about it. And your customers can look at you and say, hey man, this guy looks like he's having a rough day. You think I'm gonna take your best advice on a rough day? Absolutely not. So with that being said, guys, these are the five things that will show you how to look like a pro, dress like a pro. If you just block in these five, you will one-up the salespeople all around you. All right, guys, so like I promised you, I said if you made it till the end of the video, I would hook you up with something. This is what I wanna do for you. So when I sold, I made over 700 grand a year selling cars. I always time block my day. You would agree, all these things are possible, but you gotta make time for them. You'll always make time for what's a priority. So what I wanted to give you is this. I have a, a, a weekly crush it planner that I created and I made for myself when I sold cars. 
As I dialed myself in, my biggest month ever selling cars, my biggest month, guys, and I only averaged 70 cars a month selling cars. So I wasn't some 200 car guy. I always learned you can deposit money in the bank and not units. So 70 was plenty enough for me, but my biggest month ever selling, I made about 75 grand. That was my biggest month, record for income. Now I wanna say this to you as a salesperson, my, I wanna say this to you, this is important. I put out a weekly crush it planner where I physically dial out every single thing and how to time block your day to make sure stuff like this doesn't go, get overlooked. Plus you can do your follow up with your customers, plus plan your day. The idea of it is, is this, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. So what happens is as you think that you have a plan in place, if you really don't, well, you're just winging it as you go. So I've put together a weekly crush it planner that I used when I sold cars. I self-designed it for me when I sold. And I wanna give it to you guys. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm gonna give it to you for free. Now you can go to my website and you can actually buy the hardback book, the weekly crush it planner, but I wanna give you the PDF for free. That way I can email it to you. It's really simple. You can print it out and then use it for a couple weeks. Use it every week. Use it. I always say there's 52 weeks in a year. People want to win the war. I just want to win one battle at a time. A lot of people's battle is like month to month, but the deal is how many times have you seen a salesperson have a bad week and then fall apart and just hope that the next month it was here so they could start over. I just went week to week. If I ever had a bad week, I was like, hey, no big deal. Bad week, we'll restart it, right? Salespeople have to do that. So I focused on weekly goals, not monthly goals. So I created, and what it's called is the weekly crush it planner, okay? And by the way, see the cell phone right here? If you'll text the 918-210-0254, which is my personal cell phone, just text me this. Say, please send me the weekly crush it planner. That's all I need you to say. Hey, text me your name. Say what's up. If I haven't met you, I'd love to meet you, okay? But the idea of it is, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Maybe we'll jump on a phone call. But the idea of it is, is that I want to send you my weekly crush it planner for free doesn't cost you anything all you have to do is reach out to me and then in the end as you're going through and you're planning the rest of your year 2021 that's the year we're in how you want to dominate it each week matters this weekly crush it planner it's it's awesome once i send it to you just print it out and you'll go through each one of the sections and you'll realize that i show you how to time block every single minute of your day and by the way busy equals broke productive equals paid I want you to have the most productive days as possible, plus make sure that you're not undervaluing things that most salespeople are missing. If you want time, you have it. You just have to prioritize it. I think that this will help you. Guys, I love you. Please give me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Please shoot me a comment below. And as always, I put out videos each week to help you go to another level so you can see the best version of yourself. And if you ever need anything from me, you can always text me at 918-210-0254. I'm always here to help you. I got your back for life.